Hello, and welcome to City Cruise Live, where, uh, hopefully, my, um, computer does not crash. It seemed to be crashing quite a bit the last time I tried to stream, so I'm not even sure my previous stream will be online. I might have deleted it because, uh, it just crashed too much, so I didn't really get to say that much. But anyway, I did do some progress. Just, okay. um, I've been kind of just doing one pathway of the story right now. I'm, I think that the story's going to start to divert. I'm not entirely sure, but... I feel like it's too early to, to diverge, though. I, need, I feel like I need to build this up way more, especially when you compare it to this, which is like a whole heap more text. This is like nothing. But I'll definitely have to build it up. But uh, anyway, we got... So this at the start of the bar scene, right? Yeah, pretty much. So we got the bar scene. Um, also, I guess if I do delete my previous stream, you won't know that I have face cam now. <laughs> well, I I could have always done this really, but I don't know why I didn't. But now I am, so lucky you. I feel like it'll be better for some people to watch, more interesting. But um. I guess I'll recap what I've got in the bar scene, so the actual bar starts here, then we got um, all the characters choosing their drinks, I, um, I spent some time doing some drink research and I came to some of these, they might change still, but I think I got a pretty good selection now, so we got, um, where is it? Higashi just got a beer because it's cheap and good. Then, um. Akori got a mat martini. Denki got a white Russian. Kaneko got a tequila sunrise. Uh, Kaku got a coke. Because he doesn't really drink. And then, we. I'm letting the player choose what they want to drink. And that'll actually affect the story somehow. So, for getting a coat, um, Higashi just thinks you're kind of lame, as well as Kaneko, Kaneko actually. Um, so then, um, Kaneko asks if you want to join her on the dance floor. But to join her, that means that you'll have to drink a shot. Because maybe later doesn't really make sense if, uh, pretty much straight away, Higashi convinces them to come and take a shot.
go. I guess I'll go with that. But then this is a bit of a misleading option. I don't know if I should keep that though. Like maybe... You're saying maybe later, but then you get peer pressured. Kind of into just taking a shot and then going. But then you can also go to the I'd rather chill um, option. Which will um... Mean that you get to hang out with Denki and Kaku a bit more. And talk with them and build uh, some kind of... Friend, more friendship with them. So technically, in this um, scenario, you're either choosing to hang out with Denki and Kaku, or hang out with Agashi and Kaneko. So yeah, those are the two options. Um, so. If you choose this rat, you're not going to have whatever happens in this one. And if you choose this one, I think whatever happens in this one might not happen. So. I have to think of what's going to be the outcomes of each of these decisions. Um. Because right now they're just talking about school and random stuff, the Kaku and Denki. But I want to bring it more to a friendship um, building thing. I think so. Maybe we'll make the the route with Higashi and Kaneko. That'll that'll make you bond with uh, Kaneko a bit more, you know. You know, she's had a few drinks, and according to her personality, she'll be like all over the place. <laughs> I don't know. I still, I'm still thinking about that first drunk, drunk personalities, but I'm thinking that at the very least, Kaneko is going to be like a touchy feely person. Um, and like express the true feelings while being a bit tipsy. But for Kaku and Denki's part, I'm feeling like they're just gonna like talk about nerd stuff and like probably discuss um getting Kaku to join them for this uh the games thing. But I gotta see. Um where's I don't know if I want to split this path up down there as well. Nah, not, it's not really worth it because they are pretty pretty similar. Yeah, I can just converge that into one path down here. So yeah, maybe the next part of this is that they discuss um, discuss Kaku joining them to play games. If you go with Gashi and Kaneko, um, them two won't talk about, I don't know, Denki would probably invite him anyway, even if you weren't there. But that's not really a good decision. Like we can still have it in this path, but there needs to be something else that if you aren't with them, it won't happen. I'm not too sure what that would be. Also, gotta think, cause um, 
for this part you will have Koneko's um, number, but for this part you won't have Koneko or Denki's number, I'm pretty sure. But you will have Kaku, no matter what. I don't know how I'm gonna do the dance club scene though, like in the game, like visually, because I can't really have them dancing, can I? Like while they're talking, or it'd just be a bit weird. Well. I'm gonna keep going with this part for a bit. Oh, I can't I still can't spell. Don't mind me. say with Kaku about killing Palafa? Is it only in that one? Okay, it's only here where, we, where Denki has talked about killing Palafa. Does this go? I think it does. Can you ask him to join? Is this a definite that you will? Like if you ask to join. Yeah, both of these options are about killing power five. But what does that depend on if you talk about it? Ah, oh, but for one of these options you're not actually going, are you? So one of these options, you're not going, so there wouldn't be much point in you inviting Kaku. Oh, 
and you can't put it into another box. Oh wait. Would you not get Kaneko's num you wouldn't get Kaneko's number here, would you? The only place you get Kaneko's number is if you're joining. This does oh, keeping track of my own storyline is very complicated. I've gotta make sure that I'm keeping everything. Consistent. Koneko can talk about giving Thao 5 if she wants, but we can't, depending on the line that we chose. Is this also another I understand? Is it I understand here as well? <laughs> okay. Might have to change the name of the option because otherwise it's too obvious that you're choosing like the same kind of bar. Oh, but actually, you wouldn't get to this point if you chose this bar. So I don't know. Yeah, so those chat histories will only happen if you choose to play with them. I haven't put a lot of thought into the other parts right now, which I feel like I am neglecting and I shouldn't. Because they are probably... Because I want to make every decision just as important, every story path just as interesting. But maybe I... I also, it, I guess it makes more sense too. Focus on one path at a time, so I'm doing it well. Because they don't really have to intertwine, and I guess if I have one path down completely, then it, I can work off that path and do the others. So I guess that'll be my kind of way to do this for now. And I'm pretty sure these will converge again at some points. Like maybe just like all of this stuff happens but then they converge again at the end of the night to say their goodbyes and then yeah i don't think the storylines have to be completely different from now on they can still have some overlap and stuff also a little uh tidbit that I found because I I do try to uh, watch like Japanese YouTubers and stuff like that. Um, and Echo Beko, like I probably say that. Akabeko? No, not Akinata. What was it? I was thinking it's just like a little Easter egg or like extra facts to make it more believable that it's in pan. We could put this little little guy 
in um, the protagonist's room because it's like a red little cow um, which symbolizes um, protecting young children in Japan from illness or something like that. So, um, so that would be like a cool little thing to put in the protagonist's room, like maybe his parents like gave it, told him to keep it in his room, even though he's like 20, 21. Actually, what is the drinking age in Japan? I'm pretty sure it's 21, maybe it's 20. No, it's 20. So all the characters have to be 20 or above. Which is alright, I think. Like, I don't want to- I don't think I want to get into them being underage drinking and all that. Okay, I gotta spread this stuff up. Also, I don't know why sometimes it moves the, the children bubbles, but other times it's like, nah. Just leave it behind. Yes, you're joining. So that's like the most preferred part, at least to me right now. Oh, this thing is spreading out. And then I've also got to do slightly varied paths for depending on what um, drink you choose. So Coke is the first choice, which is the spark. Then we have possibly beer, maybe a shot of something. I still, I'm still not sure about the other two drink options, but we'll see. And then we, then we got all of this. Oh, this is branching out so much already. I don't know if this is like it's gonna take a lot of work. Like I want to do it, but saying <laughs> this is a lot of work. But those two should converge again and then split off into their own thing. Alright. At least um the way this website is it's really good. Hopefully it doesn't do anything to let me down. But firstly maybe I've fixed it now. But secondly, it's been working well so far. The only problem is that I can't load this whole map on my phone. How's the volume on the music? I think it's alright. I could speak up a bit louder. <laughs> I, shush. I try. Um, need another nerd tutorial and it would have been hopeless.
I don't know how far I want to take to like in depthness of your decisions. Like, do we want to make any kind of possibility possible? <laughs> That's almost impossible to do. But like, I mean, I was thinking that we could make it. So you have the possibility to date the other girls in the game. Like, you could eventually date a quarry um or Kaneko I'm probably not gonna do guy on guy action I, I feel like the characters are pretty straight except maybe Kaneko <laughs> she's quite a weird one um but yeah so you could date like Hikori or Kaneko uh, maybe um, all you can eventually get all of the characters to come to this game. Um, join your games chat group and like they can start having regular gaming nights. But that would be quite difficult to get Higashi or something. Oh, hello. No, who are you? <laughs> I'm joking. Welcome, Exploder Kitty. It's been a while. Glad to see you. Um, but yeah, so. It's hard to know where I want the story to go. <laughs> oh boy. Um, and I'm, I'm still not happy with the start. Well, I, I'm happy with what I got in the starting section, but I just need to make it more. There just needs to be more here because it's very. Oh. The very bare bones right now. Why did your color change? The color of your text changed on my screen. Mission accomplished. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I'm not too sure. So. Actually, I still have to make another pathway. If you don't, oh, dang, so many pathways. Um, do you even know what I'm doing, <laughs> Kitty? Do you have any idea what I'm doing? Or you just you just came to say hi? Um. I guess I can just do these separate and then come back together. <laughs> okay, you have no idea. <laughs> I am trying to story. Well, as the title says, I'm trying to storyboard. I'm trying to storyboard my own visual novel, um, which is quite intense because I'm trying to make it as. Um, open and as, uh, what's the word, choiceable as possible. So we got a story and then you get options and then those options open up more options and then um, yeah so all your options are going to lead to different paths and then those paths open up more paths and then you create your own story. And it's a lot of work, but I'm uh, I'm going all right, I think. It's going to be crazy. It will. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the art yet, but I know what the game mechanics are going to be. They're fairly simple. Well, the game mechanics mainly is going to be you choosing, um, choosing different options, obviously. But also, there's a text message mechanic in the game where you can actually text other characters and they can also randomly text you and you can have conversations and stuff. And um, if you text characters that can change how the story goes and things like that. So uh, yeah. There's a lot of work in this. It takes a lot of thinking and I have to remember every single thing that I've done previously 
so that it all makes sense to to this point. <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's a lot of thinking, which is why I'm doing it on stream. Because if I don't do it on stream, I get distracted and watch YouTube, and I can't be distracted to do this thing because it is because it is very brain draining. I can give a link to, uh... Yes, I can see it in my... Thank you. Um, wait, I have a link to, um... So people can actually view this map on their own computers. Oh, actually, you'd have to only watch it on the computer. Because opening this website on your phone, or at least my, um bubble thing on your phone actually crashes the website so you have to open this on a computer but I can like give a link so people can look at this on their own computer anyway um so what's happening here is Kaku is either going to be able to join you, or you guys are just going to talk about something else. But this path should also... <clears throat> no, well, there will have to be another thing, because this path doesn't open up unless you already uh, well this kind of goes like this so this path will happen but if this doesn't happen It'll just skip this part and go to that. But if it does happen, it does this and then does that. That's what I'm thinking. But now what is this? <laughs> You're gonna eat a salad and watch, alright. Um, so yeah, this takes a lot of thinking, so you're just gonna hear me ramble and not actually type much. Because I have to explain like everything to myself. Because there's so much to think about. Um, So yes, if you, so this path, so you can have Kaku join you, but if you haven't talked to him previously, it's going to skip this and just go to this path, which is going to be something that is um, unique to this path, that won't happen if you choose this path. But what is, what is something unique that could happen to them? Maybe they could be more friendly with a quarry. That could be something. Well, um... Actually, since uh, you're here, I'll explain at least the characters to you. I have character descriptions. So at least you know who I'm talking about and stuff. Um... So. We got the protagonist. Uh, his name may change, so I'm not too sure about that one. But uh, he's not, he's kind of detached from people and doesn't know his aspirations. He's studying psychology only because his parents told him to. Um, Kaku is your, your longtime friend. You've known him since childhood, but he's very shy and introverted. Doesn't have many friends. He's only got your friend group. Um, he's nervous about everything. He's a bookworm. He likes. He likes books. He likes writing books. He's a sad boy a lot of the time. Um, but he enjoys video games and he likes to drink coke. Um, Denki you met is like the first person at university. He's a gamer. He, he tries to be wholesome and all that, but he's, he's really kind of a lewd and rude person. <laughs> he's nerdy, but he's a hardworking student and uh, 
he worries about his grades a lot and uh, he studies engineering. He has a crush on uh, not Jennifer. Her name is now not Jennifer. Kaneko. He has a crush on Kaneko. That uh, Kaneko obviously does not realize. And his favorite drink is a white Russian, although I might change that. Um, now Kaneko. She's like a kawaii person, happy all the time, but she's also like wears kind of goth. Um, my reference for her is this, she's like a goth lolita fashion person. She likes, she likes fashion, she's a clothes designer, and uh, she doesn't really play video games, but she thinks uh, it's fun, it's cool. She can't handle alcohol that well, I'm, I'm still not sure about this whole part, but she can't al handle alcohol that well and she's gonna get kinda wild. She might have a crush on the protagonist, but the protagonist doesn't know. And her favorite drink is a tequila sunrise. Next, then we got Hakori. Hakori is a sun dairy. She is uh, Higashi's girlfriend, who is this guy. She's the university student president. She's kind of an egotistical person. Uh, she runs a family business. And her family business is quite rich. And she doesn't play video games and she thinks they're dumb, dumb and childish. <laughs> she drinks uh, a martini. Uh, I'm not sure about this too. But everything, everyone will act a bit different when they're drunk. I'm just not not sure how different they will be yet. Uh, and finally, we've got Hagashi. He's the Chad. He gets all the ladies. This crazy fitness guy. He is Hakori's boy boyfriend. He's pretty goofy and gets in trouble. He likes drinking. He's easygoing. Might change this, but he's definitely some athletic kind of guy. And he's not good with money. His favorite drink is beer. I don't know, I'll change that as well. But yeah, those are the characters. I think they're an interesting group of people. They can have interesting um, conversations and stuff. So, back to this. So, I'm thinking that maybe we can have a bit of a chat with uh, the Corey now. Because. Um, she's kind of on a lonesome right now. Agashi kind of left her. Because, <laughs> uh, Agashi took some drinks, and then he, then he hit the dance floor. But then, um, Hikori's like, uh, I'm not gonna do that, I, I gotta look after him. He's so goofy. He's gonna probably hurt someone. <laughs> or himself. So I'm not gonna drink that much, I'm not gonna go dance, I'm just gonna sit back. And relax. But she's all on her lonesome, so I'm gonna be like... Hey, where's the quarry? And, um, Hikori's like, she's pretty cold to everyone, like, she doesn't really care for everyone, except for Higashi, because she's, like, very lovey-dovey, um, with him, and, like, calls him a little muffin, <laughs> and other cute names, what did I do? She's got a few places where she calls him weird, cringy names. Hubby Wubby <laughs> and Love Muffin. I'm great at those names. So yeah, she's like very lovey-dovey with uh, Higashi, but everyone else she just like does not care about.
I need to get more um, cringe names though, because I can't I can't think of that many. But I want to make them like enough different kind of ones. Maybe you can help me if you're not too busy eating your salad. Because I just use babe whenever I don't know what else to do. I don't know if she should be overprotective. Is that what a Sundary is? Let me Google. I don't think they. Oh, okay, wait, no. Eye! Alright. Um. Where am I? My eye is like. Okay. Um. Initially, colon hostile guard becomes friendlier. I don't think they get jealous. Oh, my eye's burning, I don't know why. Oh, give me a second. Ugh. Mm, I don't know why. Anyway, I'll be fine. So, um, yeah. So I don't think they uh, get jealous too much, it's just that they get really lovey-dovey to one person, but hate everyone. <laughs> I think so. Uh, cool. We should try and learn a bit more about Hikori though, but I'm not too sure how to reveal more information about her. Because I haven't really revealed that she um, is a part of a wealthy family yet. Have I? I just told... I just said that, um, Hikori will cover Higashi's costs, but I don't think I actually told... Yeah, I didn't explicitly, explicitly say that she's from a wealthy family. Um, all she did is say that she works hard, harder than anyone else. So maybe we should reveal a bit more about her. I'm not too sure how to reveal it. Maybe I'll leave that for now. Go to this side. Because something has to also happen on this side. That won't happen on this side. Oh, well, I already... I think I already know what's going to happen on this side. <laughs> We're going to try and make uh, Kaneko show her feelings a bit more. But also, I'm not too sure if I'm doing it too early. This doesn't seem like... We're too far into the story yet, so I feel like it's a bit too soon to rush into the character's feelings and stuff. I don't know, what do you think? Are you still watching? Say something. I know you're eating a salad, but I need, I need advice.
Well, we could add Hikori to our phone on this side, because we haven't done that yet. And I'll have to add also... Um, Kaku joins you, Denki, and Koneko for the games. If you invite him at So this one maybe, I guess because she's drunk, you could make it so she's more, reveals her feelings a bit more, but maybe you can also, the protagonist can just brush it off at her be, as her being drunk, and not really think about it too much. We'll see. How would that change their friendship? Okay, so from these pathways, she's not she's not drunk enough to dance tonight, but she is drunk enough to talk about talk lovey dovey about her boyfriend, my my fluffy bear. Okay. Actually. Uh, her sitting down now is actually only here. So, I have so many things I have to consider. <clears throat> so yeah, I think from this point, from there, Neko and Gashi go to the dance floor. So they won't be here, and then we have these conversations. I'm not sure this flows on that well. Like, um... Um... Because if... This is an optional part, so... If that doesn't happen, if he's just going, Let's talk about this game. Mm-hmm, that's good. Hey! Where's Akori? <laughs> so... Probably have to add a bit more here so this flows on well, but also flows on well into this. I'm making Denki kind of like, I don't know what you call them, like, um, 
cringe. <laughs> like he just says, um, says things in like the weirdest way. Let me educate you, young man. Is the fifth installment in the fifth? How do you suppose fifth? Fifth <laughs> installment in the Killing Power series. That, that's my den. That's my um Denki voice, so I can really get into talking like Denki. <laughs> Series started with it's based around an unlikely warrior or unlikely hero is set on the quest. Weapons in history. Nice one, Jones. like too much. I still need to, I, I think I need to add more though, for it to actually flow on properly. Almost an hour. I want to try and stay focused, but it's hard. <laughs> also, I'm not sure sure how long my computer will last for streaming, because you know, there's crashing and all that. But uh, I guess I'll just go as long as I can. Um, I don't think this. I think my computer is like the maximum that it's lasted without crashing is like two hours now, maybe two and a half hours. But it's never gotten past that without crashing while streaming. Alright, let's educate. Killing Power 5 is the fifth installment in the Killing Power series, of course. Like the hero who is set on the quest to collect the greatest weapons in history to defeat the greatest villains in history. And all of this is to save the beautiful princess, of course. <laughs> Alright, I might have to re um, oh yeah. Can I gonna cut this out? What? 
kind of in there. Wait, oh, let's go this. Okay, there we go. I do like the color coding thing of um the website as well, because like. Imagine looking at all these bubbles and they were all the same co color. Actually, I think I can, do, I can do that just as a example. Select all. Format. Make them all blue. I look at how boring that looks. That'd be so tiring to look at. Just blue, blue, blue. That's what I do. So yeah, the colors definitely do help me, at least. Oh yeah, there would be no reason for you to have this anyway. Um, if you didn't weren't joining Denki and Koneko because you're not even a part of their group chat if you aren't part of this gaming night thing, so yeah. Wait, what does that drag thing mean? You can reparent things? I didn't know that. Wait. Drag... no wait. Drop to accept placement, hover over and up. I didn't know that! Oh, that's great! I should definitely do that more often. Let me educate you, oh man, kick the power. Also, another part of this timeline that I was thinking of is, um, or pathway. It might give you, bring you closer to Kaneko and Higashi, but I think if you choose this pathway where you go to the dance floor, which actually might converge with this, uh, Kaku is probably going to leave and maybe Denki then. But Kaku will definitely leave the bar and go back home because he's like, mm. I don't really know what to do. I don't, have, I don't want. I'm not alone. I have Denki, but I want the protagonist. So he might just be like, oh, "I'm not doing anything here. I'm gonna go." But you won't actually know because you're with Higashi and Kaneko. Yeah, okay. I feel like doing this off stream, but also I know that I can't do it off stream because I'm just so bad at being distracted. Okay. 
right. Okay, that might be um, a bit better for the transition. Because he's kind of sad, but you can be like, Oh, Kaku, you can join us to play Killing Craft Battle. I guess that's a bit better. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. I've completely not done this whole section. Like, this is going to be a whole another thing. So daunting. That's like the main problem, I think. It's just so daunting. And I really want someone I can bounce my ideas off of to make sure that they're actually decent instead of me just talking to myself and not knowing if my ideas are actually good or kind of bad.
آره ام بزنس تایرز And what did I say that she's studying? Did I say that yet? I don't think I did. She's just a student for president. So maybe she can do something to do with being... Well, I want to know, like, what's the top job? Often a semi-retired president or co-founder denotes a position which, with considerable power within the company, exercised through behind-the-scenes influences. At Korean family and family such things, the vice chairman commonly holds a CEO title. President, often CEO of one corporation. Who's the person that's like next to become a president? It must be something like that, right? Vice President? Highest non-executive title denotes a head of a division or department that is significant. President's the legally highest titled over of the interest. Learning so much today. During this story, but I had to learn so much. Let me see reporting to the It seems like chairman is actually more important than a president because they have, because vice chairman and president are the same thing. I don't know. Uh, let's see what vice president is. President corporate. It's an older term that. to say that she's second in line. She's next in line to be the president of the company.
Yeah, the car is kind of like old fashioned and all that. But maybe down the down the track in the story, you're able to loosen her up, you know. I feel like maybe one of the parts that you can get go down, you kind of like make her not want to be the the president or whatever of a business. Like maybe chase the actual own passions or something. I'm not sure what that would be yet, but. Maybe instead of running the business, she can just feel like she can do something else. I know. Oh, I hate this. If I zoom far enough out, is it better? Oh, it is. Okay. But still, I like to zoom in, so. What can we name it? I'm not gonna use a real company's name. Hikori would need to have a last name for this guy. Because, like, the name of the company could be, like, her last name. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling Fuzushi. I don't know why. I don't know if that's even like possible in Japanese. But fuz or maybe Fuzu. Fuzushi. But Fuzushi. <laughs> no, Fuz. Oh. Is that a thing? No sushi. Oh, not what I want. Fasuwa? Fasuwai. Oh. Fuwai, what is Fuwai? Fuwai? Hi. <laughs> All right, <laughs> thanks, thanks Google, Google Translate. Uh, brain. Yeah, go. What's what's why? I don't know. That just doesn't sound like this. Um. It needs to sound big and industrial. Um, I'm 
Uh, I'm so bad at names. Pants knit. Tessel. 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 <laughs> Does it say it like that? Uh, maybe I should go with initials. Maybe I can put in an Easter egg of BPU. Or maybe. Utilities. Second largest, the second largest corporation in Tokyo. What is this boreal thing? I don't think it is. Boreal. Boreal. Oh, I know its name. Well, I added things to it. So. Oh, wait, actually, that's Borel. All right. Borel. Sure, you can go with that name, I think. It's, it's not going to be used to anything anyway, it's just completely... You know. It's been a while before you make a decision at this point. Mm. I should probably try and add some decisions into here, I'm not too sure what the... Just little things to change the dialogue, not change the story, because otherwise I'm going into way too many paths. Stream for an hour and a half. Uh, maybe I should end it there. I 
I've got so much thinking to do, just, just thinking about what could happen, what will happen, options, what's the best way to do things. So much thinking, and it really would help if someone was here to like, discuss it with instead of me rambling myself. But can't do much about that. Um, yeah, well, I think we're making good progress though. I still haven't finished the first day in the story, so this this game story is gonna be very long, very long. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but I googled um, when do universities start, like their semesters in Japan, and it looks like they start in April, which would mean a lot of the um. A whole heap of the year would be gone since they're starting at the start of the um, university semester, whatever. So they start in April, which means we would lose like three months of possible story making. So what I'm thinking is I'm just going to make it in the story that this is like a unique university which for some reason starts earlier in the year, maybe February at the latest. Starts at February and um, that's it. Just so we have more time in the year because I want it to just be in one year for the story. But I, I'll, Although, <laughs> at the pace that I'm going, even without the three months, the story is going to be great. So, I don't know, I guess like, for now this date doesn't really matter, like when it starts, because right now, definitely right now, we're just on the first day. So the, the day when things start can be shifted around until we reach certain milestones. <sighs> but yeah, so much, so much to uh, think about. I hope people are enjoying this though, anyone who does stumble across this. And uh, I guess uh, thank you for watching for now, and I will see you next time on CD Cruise Live. Bye!